Hello everybody, it's Raven. I'm here with Delmont and we're gonna we're gonna have a little chat. Cause we've noticed some interesting trends and did a little bit of research and yeah. So, Del, as you can see on the screen, Dell's building a uh TIE Interceptor. That's the one. It's to entertain you if we drone on too long, so Which we probably will Enjoy. in all fairness. <laughs> Granted. Um but yeah, we uh a little bit of uh, information first. Um, currently, Dell has the number one downloaded ship, the Polaris, at I believe 802 downloads. That is correct. As of uh, this moment, it could be more, but who knows? Uh, let me take a look here. Um, I want to make sure. 802 downloads. However, uh, I have the Demeter that is more highly rated than the Polaris. In fact, the Polaris is barely on that screen um, on the first page of most popular. So, why? That's the question. And why should it matter to everybody else? Because I guess that's really the question, isn't it? I mean, why does yeah, anybody in, in care? In a nutshell, it's difficult, to, it's difficult to say. I mean, to some people it may not matter. Uh, but it's an easy way. The rate, the rating's a good tool to find out. You know, do I want to download this ship? Is it going to improve my StarMate experience? And various right. other meta like that. So inaccurate, you know, inaccuracies like this. I'm not, you know, I'm not my ship. Obviously, of course, if you want to download it, go download it. Right. I think, <laughs> I think what a lot of people fail to realize is, you know, like, all right, I, I can speak from a YouTuber. Uh, standpoint, and I, I get a lot of comments on my videos saying nice ship or something like that, and you know, I, I appreciate those, don't get me wrong, that's that's not what I'm saying at all, but at the same time, it's like that's all well and good, but um, I only know that you're judging that from the video, right? It's just like if somebody were to, you know, leave a comment like that on a review that you did, or got, Dell. Exactly. You only know that it's it's from the video. You don't necessarily know. Hey, they downloaded it. Really took a look and really like what they see. And uh, if something's wrong, you know, in my opinion, anyway, if, if I do something wrong or you have some criticism, constructive or otherwise, that you want to level at me, do so. It, it can really only help me in the end. And I want to be, you know, I want to be the best builder that I can and provide the best content both via YouTube and through the StarMate download system as I possibly can. So if you guys are willing to, uh, you know, do, okay. So we get, you get, how many likes did you get on the players, for instance? Uh, let's see. Something like thirty. So, something ridiculous. It. I don't think it was 30, but let's, take, let's just take a look. All right, yeah, let's see here. So 802 people downloaded that, and I have, uh, so nine, nine, off the bat. Nine reviews or nine likes? Likes. And I don't believe that the people who liked it reviewed it. From the looks, okay. yeah, they didn't. Kind okay, so a lot of people, you know, you can like something without actually downloading it, which is a little... Like, again, Which is completely useless to us as builders. Right, and and <laughs> so so here's the thing: if you like content that your builder, that you know one of your favorite builders puts up, and I'm not saying me in particular. It could be Crimson. It could be Skylord. It doesn't matter. Particularly who. Skylord. We love Skylord. Mm -hmm. But regardless, you know, if you if you like content by somebody, leaving real reviews. And it really helps us out because we know you've at least downloaded the ship. We can't say for sure that you've spent a whole lot of time with it, but it gives your your review a little bit more credibility. It, it tells us that, you know, you took the time to take a look at it and everything, or at least download the damn thing, like I said. Um, and I make, I'm, I'm, I'm a problem with that. I, you know, I, I Re resist not the perfect. Urge to pretend Star made his face. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's the thing, you know, if you, I try to spend time, it's it's kind of a way that I can interact with my viewer base, along with the people that, you know, only know me through StarMade, 
because I enjoy getting that feedback. It really helps me build, and it helps me with the Demeter. If you don't like something, leave some constructive criticism. That's, yeah, and you know, if you absolutely to. hate one of my builds, feel free to, you know, leave a shit review. If I did a bad job, tell oh, me I, I did a bad job. It's that simple. I mean, you know, these are the things that really, really help me. Um, you know, but like with uh, some of my ships, you know, it, it was nice to hear, hey, you did X really well, but I'm looking, you know, you didn't, you don't have Y, or you know, like you don't have logic on it yet. Well, that's a good reason for me to go back and improve the ship. And those are the sorts of things that really help builders out a lot. And it'd be really nice to see people voting more. I mean, the all right. One of the ones that really, one of the things that really astounded me is just in popular content alone. The the high, uh, UNSC at Infinity had 361 downloads and only has 25 votes. That's the Infinity, man. Yeah, and that's a very, very low percentage. And I get that, you know, not everybody has time or feels like they can contribute, but everybody's opinion is equally valid as long as you have something to back it up with. So if you say this ship was crap, don't just say it was crap. Say, well, what didn't you like about it? And that really helps us because we can sit there and go, well, maybe we can alter this ship to fit next that a little bit better or suck. next time. Exactly. It's, it's one of those things. Sometimes, you know, that ship won't accommodate, you know, whatever it is somebody says. But at the same time, maybe next time, you know, you can make a ship that or, you know, remember that and include whatever features or alter whatever features and it'll it'll work a lot better. I think the core of the issue is that there's just not enough votes for the number of downloads on the content. You know, not yeah. not necessarily even the quality of the review. They just don't show it's up. It's just not done. I mean, let's uh, one of my ships, the the Tiger, has ten votes. You know, and it has five hundred and some downloads. That's like a little bit less uh, with the numbers that are there. A little bit less than five yeah. percent. I think we figured it of people yeah. that actually downloaded it and also left. You know, a review. Right, and you don't even have to like. You don't even have to like. You, look at the ship even if you didn't down like properly download it and look at it if you if you like the pictures for god's sake you know oh, right good uh good job with the pictures there that's still better oh yes yeah, so i will do more of that it's still better than just complete and utter silence right and at the same time you know like the demeter has 52 downloads and 11 votes um and that's 20 percent, which is more like the amount that more like what we'd expect yeah um and it's, it's one of those things, you know, admittedly, I'm pretty bad about going through the download section. Saber's better with it, you know, he does reviews and stuff. But I'm, you know, I've been planning to do stuff like that as soon as I finish up with a current project, which is sucking away all of my time, quite effectively. Uh, regardless, you know, it's one of those things I'd really like to see people putting, you know, because again, in the end, it, it helps out the entirety of the community too. Because yeah, we, people need to know what sucks and what doesn't. Right, and even even if somebody, especially if it's no, somebody you've never seen before. I mean, to not vote on one of my ship, one thing. No, it, I, right. I, people know me; they've seen my stuff before. But some some person who maybe maybe they just built, built their first one. Maybe it was good. You need a little bit of encouragement. It's kind of the difference between yeah. do I stay or do I go? For some people, I know. Um, yeah, maybe not all. But so, well, I'm I'm gonna look at the page again here, and we've got, um, for instance, Van Helsing, uh, Chris the Nightbringer. Um, he's doing a whole bunch of Eve Online ships, and you know you get a lot of reviews initially if you're a YouTuber, because the people that watch you on YouTube will go and review stuff. But he's pretty new to this to, to uploading ships. You know, it's not something he typically does. So he just brought out um, an Amar Malice Standard Edition, is what he calls it. It's a fighter bomber from Eve. And Good job. if you ended up liking it, maybe encourage him a little bit and say, hey, awesome job. Or, hey, you did X and Y well, but you might want to do this to try to make it look a little bit better or something. 
All of those things really, really, really help. You don't have to know a lot about ships either to know what you like. Yeah. You know? You don't, you don't have to be a, a panel of experts or, or think that, oh, I can't do that good, I can't vote on it. You know, you guys are the people we make ships for. Exactly. And if, if you sit there, and, even if you sit there and go, you know, there's something about this ship that I just don't like. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I can say, you know, maybe it's the, you know, the, the silhouette. If I look at the ship from the side, it just looks funny. That's useful information. Still better than nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's it's legitimately useful information. It's not the oh, you know, it's obviously it. not perfect information. Perfect information would be do this, and Delmont has an experience with me saying that those exact two words to him all the damn time. Um, much. And I have experience of him saying those two words to me all the damn time. But then you know, Among that's uh, well, yeah. <laughs> there's that. Um, but that's, you know, that comes with experience, but at the same time, you know, you can usually tell just by looking at something, you know, uh, that's not quite right. And if that's the case, just say, hey, you know, this doesn't look quite right to me, and I don't know why. But, you know, I, I can say that this, this part looks really good, and this part looks really, you know, maybe the front and the back look really good, but it just connects together really weirdly because a lot of people build front and then the back and then try to connect it and that's a hard habit to break <laughs> speaking from experience um so you know it's it's one of those things that it takes practice but at the same time it doesn't mean that your input is any less valid so we all appreciate your input a lot more than you might think and it helps us grow as builders a lot. It does, and you know, we're really speaking to the silent majority here, you know, uh, the people who maybe haven't done it at all. Because yeah. it, it, there's there's plenty of people who do comment on the on the YouTube videos and stuff like that, but maybe you know, a lot of times they'll get lost in the post. Right, and on top of that, um, I'm just gonna speak to this right now. You know, right now for me, it's not too bad, but. YouTube comments, uh, other than when the video first goes up or maybe the day after, I don't really look at them that much. And the reason being, I mean, I, I read all of them, but you know, it's like when I go, I, I tend to go back and look at my ship reviews uh, or, you know, on, on the main site when I'm building a new ship to say, okay, what did I do well? What do I need to to do differently on the next one. That's where I look, and that's where a lot of builders look, because they don't have YouTube channels. Yeah, and we do our we do our best, I know, to try and reply to these reviews mm -hmm. too. I, I think I've replied to every single one on the Demeter. Um, I try to reply to all of them. Sometimes I miss one or two. It is what it is. You know, I tr I do my best to, but it's... in my case, I usually do it when the ship is like important. You know, and I, yeah. well, they're all of course important in their own special way. Don't feel bad, shit. <laughs> but, but, but it's really, it's really down. Like, okay, did I put a lot of effort into this one? Did I try something new? What, what am I gonna garner from this? What, what can I learn? Yeah, especially when you see one of us do something brand new. Like the Demeter was a complete departure from anything. An awesome departure. Yeah, I'm not debating that. But it, it was completely it was different God. than anything else that I've ever done. And it was an experiment for me, considering the fact that I'm freaking colorblind. You know, these are, you know, stuff that you have to work around. Especially for me, as this is not, you know, that's that was out of my it's comfort zone. not your zone. usual fare. Exactly, it was out of my comfort zone. And I'm really happy I did it. And I've gotten a lot of good feedback. But I know that there must be something that I could have done better. And, you know, Thankfully, I have people like Dal and Saber, but at the same time, you know, some people don't have that. And I'm not even speaking, you know, about my ships in particular. I'm just saying, you know, let's say, you know, I'm just looking at the front page. Uh, who is this? Uh, nuclear Fun. He does yeah, a lot yeah. of good stuff. He's got a Master Builder Medal. Mm -hmm. And nobody ever comments on his stuff, and it's really good. You guys should do yeah. that. But and I mean, for instance, you know, and giving him feedback and saying, hey, 
you got a really good start here. Why don't you try blank? You know, because I like what you're doing, but I think it could be better if you did this. Those are the exact words that we need to hear so that we can improve. Yeah, so we can provide you guys with more fucking awesome content. Exactly. And, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, like, it's kind of strange. And, you know, it's I admit... It's really disproportionate. Yeah, and I admit, you know, we do have a small community. But as and as the community grows, maybe we'll. Oh, that's worse. We yeah. There's no excuse there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and and the problem I think ends up being that you get somebody that downloads something and then just screws off for a few months, which is fine. That's not really a big issue. But we have a very solid core community, and having, you know, and I'm not talking about Mushroom Fleet, and I'm not talking about you know, any particular server or anything. I just mean as a community of builders and players. You know, if if a ship was Stimmers helpful to you. Content and developers of content. Right. I mean like look at look at Delmont and I. We build most of the time. We don't we don't really play wait, wait that what wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. you you mean you can get out of the core? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. I know, I just found out about it yesterday. Holy it's hell. amazing. It's, it's really weird, dude. I don't know. I don't feel safe, so I tend to just go back in. Yeah, it's, um, it's way outside my comfort zone. There, I so know. Not doing that. But my point is that we tend to we tend to build, and we try to build, you know, a functional ship for other people. That's something that we enjoy doing. And we do try and idiot proof it as well, you know. So right. if one of you guys wants to volunteer to be our idiot. We would love to hear from you. Exactly, but that's <laughs> the worse exactly you it. Are, the better. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just it, though. In the end, you know, we can build it. In a lot of cases, we do build whatever it is that we're deciding, like the Demeter. It was really nice to hear. You know, a uh, few comments on there were like, you know, it was a really good salvager and it it worked for me. You know, it was cheap and it worked really really well for what I was trying to do at the time. That's good to know. You know, like, somebody started using it as a flagship because it actually has decent cannons, uh, or uh, decent weapons on it at the beginning of the game. And there's a whole, you know, slew of salvage space that you could easily change out for weapon systems. Cool. These are uses I didn't think about at all. But it's really nice to know because then I can sit there and go, oh, I got the balance right with this one. Whenever I decide to build a new ship, you know, say like a repair ship or something like that, I can use a similar use balance. Exactly, and it, it, it just, or um, but the real point I'm trying to get to is, you, when you, if you're if you spend most of your time building like you and I do, Dell, you don't get to use the ship very consistently because you're off to That's the next ship. So what ends up happening is, if there's a defect, if there's something that needs it to be done better, on down the line. yeah, we're never gonna fix it because we don't know about it. We need you guys to tell us, hey, you know the What's Taiga, the Taiga, it's great Shit. in the initial, you know, initial fight, right? It's got enough power, but after maybe thirty seconds of fighting in a in a close dogfight, it can't hold up anymore because it just it doesn't have any more power. Well, now Dal knows to go back and fix the power gen and try to try to balance that a little bit better. And believe me, in the next in the next ship or the refit, you will get more power. It's right. gonna happen. I will be there. Exactly. And and if you tell us these things, we know to go back and fix them. Like um, I'm starting a campaign very very soon, which will be a very a lot of live streaming of refitting all of my older ships. You know, um, I only have 12 up on the server, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to just do a complete systems rehaul. I'm not going to change any of the aesthetics. I'm just going to do the systems for the most part. And, you know, it'd be nice to know what kind of weapons are the most useful. What are things that, you know, especially from people that are PVPers, you know, once I, once I do that initial refit, primarily... After that, I'm going to need to know, okay, was it a good refit? Does it need to be tweaked again? Do I need to do it again? Because I will gladly do it, you know, not a problem. But 
if it needs to get tweaked, you know, I'm going to be fighting in it maybe once or twice. That's it. I'll hand it out to some other people. It'll be up for download and and all, but I won't know necessarily that I screwed up on something. And, you know, if you guys want to see better ships coming from us, and, you know, prettier stuff, etc., to, to, work, to download, we need that feedback. That's simple. Yep, that's step one. Mm-hmm. And it seriously helps. I mean, seriously helps. Because, again, you know, you guys might put it... You guys might hit a situation that we don't hit. You know, most of the time we're playing with admin commands, so we just teleport everywhere, because screw jump drives and those in that instance. I mean, they're fun, but at the same well, time... You know, if, the, if the, the nature of the jump drive make or breaks the ship for you, we want to know. Yeah, exactly. Just like uh, the jump ring. I think it works. I just released it today. Um, I think the concept works. It seems to work in testing, but in practice, I have no idea. Maybe it needs some more that. shields. You know, I've got an a AMS system on it. Maybe the AMS system doesn't work properly. Admittedly, you know... I would, may, maybe it does. It needs more maybe dock it on it or something. With, uh, you know, your server config. Yeah, because we're working with one, two tops vanilla. Mm -hmm. You know, and then but what if you got a server that uh, maybe maybe the AI isn't as accurate? Right, you're gonna have yeah. a different experience, and we want to know what we can do to improve that experience for you. Exactly, and if there's a you know, cause, know in general. Yeah, I mean, because that that sort of feedback helps us because maybe maybe it just comes down to you don't have quite as accurate, you know, as accurate of turrets. Well, maybe I could fix that by changing my the rapid-fire AMS system to a shotgun AMS system with, you know, a couple of sets of shotguns so that you have a few, you know, bullets, basically, if you will, before they recharge. That could be done. But I don't know that that's what needs to happen, and I've, I'm currently using just a twin rapid-fire cannon because... I figure, in testing, it's worked well, but maybe it won't work well for you. Maybe it just generally, maybe it works really well on my server, but it doesn't work well on yours. All of that stuff is actually taken into account when we build these things. And we yeah, really we think do. think about it way harder than most people give us credit for. <laughs> yeah. This is what we do pretty much exactly. every day. Like, pretty much. Here, otherwise. We're we're sitting up here in Teamspeak talking, listening to music Mostly and building much. ships, yelling at people. We yell at people. A lot. We do a lot. We're not apologetic either. Not even a little bit. No. But you know, it, it, it's so helpful if you can tell us what we need to do. And I know it's like a pleading. This is your chance to yell at us. Exactly. You know, it's <laughs> it's like. I mean, and I I know it it sounds kind of pathetic or it sounds pleading or whatever, but it. It really helps, and if we can get that feedback, Who's we can ships? apply it. Go, oh, just not not just our ship. Review everybody's. Right. I mean, we're, if we're probably not the only people who feel this way, and just every builder that I've talked to, and which is yeah. probably almost all of them, um, yeah. by now, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, really. But that said, they would love that. I don't think there's one out there who does not want constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. Not, not so. One. So I'll just lay out some some general guidelines that I was thinking, and Dal, feel free to, you know, oh, I'll try plug to. your bit in. <laughs> uh, but, you know, basically, if you download a ship, you know, and you like the look of it before you even uh, get it into your server, feel free to leave a like. That's cool, because we like to see that, you know. It, it is Likes a little bit of a pick-me-up, you know. Also, if you, if you review the thing and like it, too, I mean, not like there's really any point. It just irks the hell out of me that you can and you don't. It's you <laughs> click the button, you yeah. know. It just what is it a little yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. That's it. You just, you, <laughs> just right there. You see what you did? You click the button, and it was fantastic. And somebody, some some poor kid somewhere who really thinks his his Star Wars dropship is the fucking king of cheese, is just shitting himself with happiness right now because of yeah. it. And if you don't feel good because of that, I hope you die. Um, it, it, okay, it is a, a little hard. It's a really big uh, incentive for us to keep doing it. It really is because we like to get your feedback. I mean, we're building this stuff 
we build it for ourselves. It's not a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of it. But, uh, it will be too. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's like, we build the stuff initially for us because we see, hey, you know, we want Boy, a cool ship that does this. Exactly. Fighter. Yeah, it would. Exactly. But at the same time, it's... And then we sit there and go, well, I bet you a whole bunch of other people might like this. Or maybe we're sitting there going, like, in the case of the Demeter, since it's the most recent ship that I built, I can speak to it. You know, I realized that a lot of people needed a salvager. So I figured, well, I could probably make a cheap salvager that looks decent and does the job. So why don't I? So I did. You know, so that ship wasn't really built for me because I don't typically play survival. Although that's about to change, hopefully. Because I do enjoy survival. I'm roll. Right? But um, the, the general, you know, rules I would say is if you download a ship and you get a strong opinion about it one way or the other, say, let's say, download a ship and go, this is freaking amazing. Leave a review. And typically... Freaking beautiful. Typically, the best thing to say is leave a review including, you know, the good stuff, but always include, see if you, try to include something that you sit there and go, this could have probably been done better. Because that all of a sudden, even, even on the best of our ships, you know, hearing, oh, that's great, that's great, that's great, all the time, that helps us to know that we're going in the right direction, but it doesn't tell us how to improve. But what didn't you like? Exactly. You couldn't have liked it all. Right? Stop lying to me, Jeff. <laughs> um, if you didn't like a ship, say something that you did like, and then proceed to eviscerate it. That's I'm fine. why it's garbage. Yeah, I mean, you know, if if... There's something that's that's going that you like about it, but most of it just didn't quite line up with what you think looks better. Tell us. It helps. It all of it helps. Um, if you if you didn't really get a strong opinion one way or the other, I mean, because that's what it looks like. You know, when you look at the Polaris, it's the most downloaded ship, and a lot of people seem to like it. But, um... I have no real feelings one way or the other. That's what it looks like for 792, because 10 people voted. Those other 792, it just seemed like, eh. Thank you, 10 people. Right, well, I mean, but for the other 792, it seems like, eh, okay, whatever. And... Sure is a ship. If, even if it's a meh, whatever, type of ship, why? What can we do to improve? Because I'm look, I know I look for what can I do to make my stuff better? Because I want to be the very best. Like, no one ever <laughs> 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 It had to be done. It did. It did. Granted. Um, but no, I want my fucking, uh, I want my, my wrenches. I, I am dead set on getting those well, that's, things. That's a good thing to call up. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm looking for it, you know, that's, that's something I would like to get, um, in my master builder, um, and... Well, you can't do it if nobody tells you, hey, your stuff looks like shit. <laughs> well, yeah, um, but, you know, I can't do it if I don't get some feedback as to, you know, how to improve my ship so that I can get to the point where, you know, I'm building at that level, because as far as I know... I'm considered the uh, budget version of Delmont ships, which for a while there, and still probably is, mostly correct. Also, Del, you're good, about to hate me. Oh, don't, please don't delete the ship. No. Nope. Saved it yet. No, I'm just going to make you cry. Okay, it's fine. You're loading something, man. It's cool. But... No, no. I'm looking at your ship. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Let, let's let's but, take a look at Dell shit. There's, there's stuff that's wrong with it. Yeah, I know. And there's stuff that the, I would do better. But. So the wings themselves, right? So we can look at those. That's about the right shape. They're not far enough away from the center. Yes. Well, so, actually, they are, but it they're oversized because it's in Star Made. Well, and the wings are oversized <laughs> for the ship. Either the center pod needs to be bigger. Or the wings need to be smaller. 
Yeah, I'm on. Well, yeah, you're. But I know how I'm going. I know how I'm going to trim it too. Right, and so, so guys, that sort of that criticism was, that wasn't so painful. I don't. I'm not bleeding. Am I bleeding? Well, you will be, but that's for different reasons later. We'll talk about that after Merciful the recording. Oh God, not again. <laughs> but that sort of thing, though, that sort of criticism, that's what hey, helps. Look at this. Look at what I'm doing. Yeah. Critique. Chunks gone. Yep. Pieces of ship are just flying off in every direction. They're and now it's the center point. The streets. It's the center point between the wings. Those wings need to come down. That that center point is too tall. Because if you go from your little arm that sticks out from the pod, where it connects with the wedges, the top wedge, it should go up maybe three. No more than that. Hold on. This looks like something, but I don't remember what. Yeah. But guys, I mean, see, we're totally willing to do whatever. I mean, if you sit there and look at the ring, you know, the Dreamcatcher, and say, you know, it's really cool, but uh, this, 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 and this are wrong, I'll take that into account. And you know, I'll probably alter it and see if I can't. You know, if, if it's if it's possible to do, I'll gladly do it. It's one of those things, you know, it's it's like we wanna produce the best stuff that we can. We wanna be the very best. Had to do it at least one more time. But at the same time, if we don't have anything to compare it to, and if we don't get any feedback, we're just going to keep doing the same thing, and that's no fun. Or maybe we'll we'll start, you know, looking for the worst things out of everything to do. I don't know. I don't think that's that would be the case, but at the same time... I just had a heart attack thinking that I had work. Word. <laughs> yeah. Literally just, just massive, massive heart attack. Just, oh my god. So, I, uh, Dal, I'm gonna let you talk for a second because I need to pour Mountain Dew into my Pilsner glass like a boss. Yes, I've got a tall Pilsner glass, the kind for beer. Well, it's a good thing Mountain I Dew. Guess, to have Mountain Dew in. So, about Mountain Dew and Pilsner <laughs> glasses, um, you get five Pilsner glasses for the low, low price of $59.95 at uh, Sioux Fleet Mart. Uh, we'll be open this Wednesday. Uh, with a booth down by your local red record store, probably from four till nine, we'll just be dishing out the Mountain Dew Pilsner glasses. Just, uh, just make sure to stop out. by the EFSF booth. We'll have it for a dollar cheaper. Exactly, it's all part of the plan. Uh, as far as you don't know, you haven't heard anything. Uh, but we undercut our competition. Yeah. Exactly, we, <laughs> under we, con we undercut each other so that we sure, and then we split the profits. It's horrible. Terrible people. Yeah. And you, you feel like you got a great deal, though. That's that's the that's the advantage. Yep, you know? totally. I mean, don't you want to feel like you got a great deal? You do, don't you? You feel like you got a great. Deal. You feel great. <laughs> you feel wonderful. You feel warm. You feel good. Fuzzy. You feel great. You a little can do this. <laughs> you gotta stop watching movies. Period. I don't even remember what that's from. Neither do. But you can do it if you try. <laughs> I believe in you. Boy, this certainly has devolved. <laughs> <laughs> so what was a what nice a little talk about? Oh, by the way, totally random, but I thought this would be kind of a cool little tidbit to add in. Um, Anecdotes. There may be, on the Mushroom Fleet server, coming Some very, stuff. very soon, very, very soon, an EFSF... Shipyard where you can actually buy ships in game for less than the marked price when you buy it from a blueprint. First call, Demeter. First call. <laughs> You're here first. No, all of you. Uh, well, the, the Demeter is typically 11.5 credits. It might be, you know, a straight 10 million there. Jump gates. You know, 18, 19, 20 million. Might be 15 there. You know, stuff like that. And you know what'll be right next to you? Sue Fleet Mart. 
Come oh. on down. <laughs> exactly. We'll proceed then to undercut each other and... Mm -hmm. Except I have hands. an advantage. Because you don't have a proper salvager other than the melody. And I don't count that anymore. Granted, that is the next thing I'm going to build, though. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I'm having, a, I'm having a moment where I'm wondering if I need to, if this needs to be a tie interceptor or just a fighter, a, a, just a tie thing. A tie thing. Because oh, I, why do I feel like there's a variant though that, that these wings remind me of just mm. infinitely? Ooh, I know what you need to buy, build. Hmm. Let me send you this picture. This is great. That it's called a Y tie, and it's oh, actually a y -tie. it's actually a thing. Yeah, you can you can. Oh wait, that with the Y wing front on it. I was thinking about the other one with the Tie Fighter and a Y wing engine. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's a X tie or something. No, no, no. There, that, there is an X tie, but there's one that has Tie Fighter uh, engines. Oh and yeah. The or no, the Tie Fighter. Whatever the hell it is. Yeah, body and then the engines. Body but no, I thought that was... Engines, yeah. yeah. I kind of want to do that just because nobody's probably done it yet. I, I actually might just do that right now. Just do it. Because cause bear with me, because I, I like the shit. I like the, the center slush here. The wing mm -hmm. gee bits, unless I screw them. No. Yeah, it's, Ooh, it's just on. too... It's too long of an angle to do... Don't get me wrong, it's not impossible, it just doesn't look right. Watch Let me that. find a picture of it. Oh! Oh! That's what you're talking about? Let's see. That's a long URL, bro. <laughs> I literally can't even copy that, what the hell? Oh. Hold on. Trim the Google result, and it's similar to that, yeah. Very similar to that. Yeah. Or, ooh, okay. Could go with this. I gotta find, nah, these... Oh, one of those is really cool. <laughs> For those of you that swing combos, yeah. Ooh, tie, tie defender A wing. What? Mm hmm. We're like, <laughs> run away. Mm hmm. On a scale from one to A wing, how quickly will it rape you? <laughs> <laughs> And for those of you watching, this has thoroughly devolved, but it's all staying in. This one. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry about that. I'm not. But yeah, so... Um, so yeah, basically, the whole point is, constructive feedback really does help us, and we'd really like to see a lot more of it. So... In a nutshell. Please. Oh, I know which one you're looking for. That one. Yeah, that's the one. All right. There you go. Anyway, guys, um, I'll include a picture of whatever the hell Dalmont comes up with if he manages to finish it tonight. Um, I think we're going to call it here. Nice. And we may... Uh, May film something else later tonight, we'll see. But, um, yeah. Take it easy, y'all. Thanks for listening. Thanks for bearing go with vote. us through a bit of a retarded rant. Vote. But, yeah, go go help go help us out. Help all the other builders out, too. It really... I can't yeah, even explain it. we're great, but other people are awesome, and they need your support. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it, right there. Um, but, yeah. Hope to see you guys if soon. I see, if I see an improvement, I may release something that smells like an Archimedes. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. <clears throat> cough, cough. And there they might be, you know, if I if I see a bit of an improvement, it may... It may just inspire you. It may just convince me to release something that rhymes with the word Dargus a little bit sooner. Oh man, I remember the last time I had Dargus to throw a man who clogged the toilet for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. <laughs> Take it easy, y'all. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you again next time.